And we begin with breaking news this morning. The former Metropolitan Police Officer Wayne Cousins has pleaded guilty at the Old Bailey to the kidnap and rape of Sarah Everard. He also admitted responsibility for her killing, but he was not asked to enter a plea to the charge of murder. Sarah, 33, was falsely arrested by police officer Wayne Cousins while she was walking home from a friend's house in Clapham, South London, of March 3rd of last year. Cousins falsely accused Sarah of breaking COVID lockdown rules. Her remains were found in a woodland stream in Ashford, Kent, a week after the disappearance. Sarah is gone and I am broken hearted. She is our precious little girl, our youngest child. The feeling of loss is so great it's visceral and with sorrow comes waves of panic and not being able to see her again, not being able to talk to her again, never again being able to hold her or be a part of her life. Clapped her dressing gown. It still smells like her. I hug that sometimes instead of her. Sarah died in horrendous circumstances. I'm tormented by the thought of what she enjoyed. I play it out in my mind. I go through the terrible sequence of events. I wonder when she realised she was in mortal danger. I wonder what her murderer said to her when he strangled her. I wonder how long she was conscious of it, knowing she was going to die. It's torture to think of it. Sarah was handcuffed, unable to defend herself. And there was no one there to rescue her. And she spent her last hours with, her, with the very worst of humanity. She lost her life. Because <coughs> Wayne Cousins wanted to satisfy his perverse desires. It's a ridiculous reason! It's nonsensical. How could a person value human life so cheaply? He treated my daughter as though she were nothing and discarded her as though she were rubbish. I feel as though I am rubbish. It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and it kills me to think you don't think you're good enough. Like we always have to be extraordinary. So somehow we're always doing it wrong. One in 30 women have been raped or sexually assaulted in the last 12 months. 26% of women have been sexually assaulted at ages 16 to 24. Or somebody's mother, daughter, sister and friend. Your daughters, your sisters and your friends. 